Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 24 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway, Jack the Joker Hermansson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Black Mamba. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? His opponent would be wise. Maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Black Mamba. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out quick. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.